It's Ketchup Packets. Hi, everybody. I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this is Ketchup Packets. And today, we are watching Season 3, Episode 3 of The Expanse, Assured Destruction. Before we get into The Expanse episode, we have a, a couple things to address quickly. First of all, I mentioned this in comments in a couple previous episodes, but I wanted to say in a video once that uh, the sad news is our Ketchup Packets cat, Angus, has passed away. So, mm. he's not going to be in any videos anymore. We will certainly miss him. It yeah. was unexpected. He was a good kitty. He you all saw him kitty. in these videos. So, moment of silence for Angus. But, moving forward, the second item. We have a Patreon. If you feel like supporting us and helping us keep these videos going, we've got some full-length reactions over there. We've got some polls about movies and other stuff. So, you know, give that a look if you want to. That helps us out. But thanks for being here no matter what. And with that, what do you think will happen in this episode, Nate? Oh boy, I mean, we sort of left it off in a pretty interesting spot. Yeah, Avasarala yeah. is on the Rosinante. Mm -hmm. So is Bobby. Mm-hmm. Um, oh geez, yeah, I'm thinking that they're gonna all end up being on a happy little crew together. Yeah, they're just gonna yeah. go yeah. drink margaritas. Space. Yep. Yeah. Happily ever after. That's Assured right. Assured destruction. <laughs> um, Let's see what else happened. It's been a couple weeks since we, yeah, since we watched it. Uh, we had a uh, possible COVID exposure, so we couldn't mm -hmm. get together. But everybody's yep. fine. Nobody got sick. And um, the other thing from last time is that Elizabeth Mitchell showed up. Oh, that's right. As yep, yep, yep. Reverend Doctor Anna de something or other. I know that she's Reverend Doctor, like Reverend Doctor Martin Luther King. That's all I can remember. That. Yeah. Okay. She, Anna is her first name, and she's like friends with Esteban, who's like the main. Like King of Earth. You yep. Know? Right. So, and she's trying to convince all the the warmongering bureaucrats mm -hmm. not to go to war. Yeah, she's, she's basically she's... taking the place of Avasarala in mm -hmm. the Earth politics storyline. Yep. Right? Yeah. We have predicted that she's not going to have a very easy time convincing them all to chill out. No, I don't but... think she will. Yeah, I think that's kind of it's kind of where we're at. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I don't really a have of... a lot. It's still too early in the season to predict what will happen. The proto molecule. Is on board the Rosinante and they don't know. That's right. Yep, yep, yep. That's the other thing. Sucking that's the power. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. Uh, yeah, I say we jump into it. What yep, do you think? Let's do it. All right. Without further ado. We haven't had any intro changes in a while. That's true. Maybe they're just subtle and I'm not noticing them, but. The... Oh, we forgot to talk during the introduction about how Drummer has been tasked with catching the Navu. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Bunch of angry Mormons. Mm-hmm. Well, they'll be back, happy if they get yeah. that back. Flag on the bulkhead. I hope You think that's funny? <laughs> now. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, uh, let's, let's start everything off on the right foot, shall we? <laughs> okay. You did that yeah. such a long time yeah. ago. You think I need my armor to take the ship? It'd be interesting to find out. Not for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, <laughs> let's just remember you called us, okay? I think saving your lives earned us an explanation. A Martian Marine with the Deputy Secretary of Earth on Julie Mao's ship with the UN trying to kill them. Start with that. I can't tell you it's classified. Oh, come on, we crippled a UNM gunship to I save your I didn't call you, I called the MCR. Can you just settle down now, darling, please? Call me darling again and you'll be saying that drool in sign language. Oh it's my like god. Going well. We're going to chill. Bonding. We're going to Io. Right? That's right. Io? <laughs> my daughter's there. We hope. <laughs> you can't just drag her to Io in the midst of it? Take your ship leave. No one's keeping you here. We target practice in that thing. It's defenseless. The comms are locked down. We'll There's no fix way your comms. After that, we don't owe you anything. Yeah, they just kind of saved your life. It's true. 
A thank you will suffice. You can't just turn your back and pretend this war isn't happening. If they don't use the ship, then you should take it and go. Go to Tycho. Do what you have to do. <laughs> Naomi, you're still not in good standing here. Yeah, no. So I'm calling it that Bobby and Amos are going to... Hit it off? Yeah, they're going to hit it off. I think there's a love connection I going do. on. The tension is just well, they're too hitting, strong yeah. too fast. Yeah, they're both it's hot-headed, like, intense. It might be too close of a match to make a good couple, you know? It might be too exactly the same. Maybe. A preemptive strike, yes. It would have to be perfect. If it's not, Mars would retaliate immediately. With justification, millions of lives would be at risk. Yes, but sir, our operatives in the MCRN command are convinced that they're on the verge of launching anyway. Why would they? Because they're losing the war, and they know it. We're fighting in the utter pines. Don't listen to Aaron Wright. Don't listen to him. Every loss that we inflict on Mars pushes them closer to launch. If we do this, we save lives, because it will end the war. I don't think so. Find the other platforms. That could be my decision then. <sighs> yeah. It's just just bad. I don't even know what to yeah. say to react to any of it. Just I don't uh war is so it's so nasty. It's just so, so terrible. What's going to happen to these guys? Oh, yeah. So you and an Agatha King. The flagship of the Jupiter fleet. Okay. Interesting. survivors. Unknown. They must have lost comms. We pinged their distress beacon, but the registered data on the answer back was minimal. No manifest, no crew list. What? Nothing. Any skiff in the fleet could have handled this. Why send us? That guy. We saw him on Earth before, right? Mm -hmm. He was like the only sensible voice in Earth mm -hmm. in those rooms back in the day. Incoming tight beam, sir. From Admiral Wynn. Maybe that's another glitch? Put it up. Admiral Selma. Any survivors on the dropship ought to be considered prisoners and taken to the brig immediately. Yeah, it's a glitch. No one is to speak to them until I get there. That's an order. Transmitting rendezvous coordinates, as usual. Wind's coming here in person. Apparently. If they were going to blow us up, then they'd have done it already. So that's a good sign, right? So we just have to... It's like I'm bleeding out. Take a deep breath and close your eyes. What? Oh, are you gonna kill him? Why aren't you like bleeding from the guts? Can yeah, you do I this? Don't understand how he's still standing up? Much less overpowering a man yeah. who's fighting for his life. Even a scrawny dude can fight kind of hard when he's yeah, gonna die if he doesn't. Exactly. Got against somebody with a bullet hole in their stomach. Seems like. He's been bleeding for yeah, a long yeah, time. Right, like a while. Let's group the children get to play together. Oh, absolutely. It keeps their cortisol levels low, which enhances protomolecule uptake. <laughs> Strickland is just completely... Yeah. Is he, like, lobotomized? Like, he's, like Kodazar? He's gotta be. Is that Julie on the screen? The current subject is the best candidate genetically. Don't worry, there's no risk of contagion. Not at this stage. So at what stage is there a risk? Well, just none that they found yet, maybe, yeah. is what he means. None of the people that I dealt with were as Did most of them a favor. Dying is the only way of getting out of Baltimore. So how'd you get out? I died. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think that means what you think it means. Hey, Naomi, you know what might be a good idea is to slave that ship to the Rossi. I'd rather have that thing following rather than hooked up in case more shit goes down, you know what I mean? You're right. I'm on it. What's she gonna find? Also, when is the proto molecule on the Rossinante gonna yeah. cause problems? Chekhov's molecule. <laughs> Thank you for not letting me die. 
Proud to be of service, ma'am. You wanted to see me, ma'am? These three in a room together is really cool, honestly. Yeah. Whatever happened to the man who risked certain death to stop Eris? He stopped fighting battles he knew we couldn't win. This isn't just about the war. We need to contain the proto-molecule. Make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Mm. You think that's funny? Not at all. It's just that I've heard it before. From who? Everyone. <laughs> including me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're yeah, out that. of the loop. Officer Roll. She told me when you were a boy you wanted to be a knight. That's because I was a boy. It's no accident you're in the midst of all this chaos. I'm nobody's savior. Damn, that was a good scene. Yeah. Couldn't even react to it at all. I was just watching. Admiral on deck! At ease. I hope somebody punches this guy in the face at some point. Permission yeah. To come aboard. You can be charged with treason too. Cooperate, and you might avoid a death sentence. Talk to Aaron Wright. He's the traitor. He's been protecting Jules Pierre Mao all along. Do you have any proof of that? Yeah, I know. That'd be helpful. Yeah. Let's try. Get some rest. You're gonna need your strength. See how none of these people don't realize that Aaron Wright is a snake. Yeah, I thought Souther was cool. He should get it. I skated at the end. It would be more convincing if we weren't at war. What if instead the focus was on defying fear? Defying fear. Yeah. Oh, so this is about launching that preemptive strike at Mars? Mm -hmm. Oh man. This is not going to be a smart choice. No. How many of them, how many sacrifices can you stomach and still tell yourself you're doing God's work? A, a, a hundred? A million? A billion? We both know it's more than 37. What's the significance of that number? Consider that yeah. a rhetorical question. No, there is an answer. That's a history between them. So you know precisely how many lives a leader must sacrifice and still be a good man? Yes, as few as possible. Yep. But that's, I think his whole dilemma is which choice leads to the sacrifice yep. of the fewest lives. That's. Don't listen uh, to Earn Right. That's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that choice. I also, I don't envy being in his position though, no. having to make those kind of decisions. You would know. It's the only reason there I'm not president. I told you to stop oh, that's why. Off. Yeah. Do you work for Dr. Strickland? No. We work together. Like Misko and Marisco? Who? They're dinosaurs. They work together to help people and stop Count Lungo. It's my favorite cartoon. Dinosaurs don't work. <laughs> Dr. Strickland says one day I might be able to jump like that. I hope I can. I want to show my dad when I see him. What's your name? Mine's May. Jules Pierre. Nice to meet you, Jules Pierre. Nice to meet you, May. Don't name it. Now you're gonna have an emotional connection to it. Don't call her it. How dare you? How dare you, sir? I'm only speaking as they do. Message from his wife? After you sent her the message about mm -hmm. how, like, you'd rather be out here than with your family? <laughs> Jeez. Alan, Milos has learned to live without a father. And a real husband wouldn't have done that to his wife. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you have something more important than us. Because we don't need you anymore. Hmm. Well, sort Selection. of the response you deserve. Yep. I even thought that was maybe a little light. She didn't mm -hmm. even call him, like, an asshole. Right, yeah. Right, you know. She's completely right about, yeah. like, it just contravenes the definition of husband and wife to tell mm -hmm. your wife there's a pursuit in life that's more important to me than mm -hmm. being with you. Yep. Before they can launch, 82%. And if they do manage a launch, what will the casualties be then? We estimate it would that's be... That's very unlikely. And our planetary defenses aren't... She was talking! Yeah, dude. I have a secret obligation to the people of this planet. 82% is not good enough. Stand down. 
All right. There we go. Yes. Esteban. Oh, he's. Oh, yeah, he's dude, now. look at me. Oh, I'm so sad. I just want to talk to you. Lean back with my weight on my heel. Yes. There you go. Now you just walk around like you're in pumps. How do you know what it's like to walk in pumps? I didn't always work in space. Okay, that is a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I had a good sense of Amos' past, but now I have more questions. This isn't so hard. Not bad. Right. I'll inform Mars to ready the white flag. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee machine that Holden was uh, a little yep. too rough with. Sure you don't want some? Lasagna. Yeah, she's ain't real, but... Yeah. The love that went into it is. Okay. Yeah? Alright, you take this one. She's just grateful to have someone wanting to eat food mm -hmm. with her, you know? Thanks. Must get very lonely on a spaceship. Especially what if everyone everyone's mad at you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they field tested one of those things on Ganymede. They wiped out a dozen UE Marines and my entire fire team without even breaking a sweat. I believe Aaron Wright intends to use the hybrids to lay waste to Mars. We need your help to stop him. Whoa, Damn. that got Alex's attention. Show cargo bay surveillance of hybrid incursion. Being yeah, we had one on board. Mm -hmm. I believe they're producing the hybrids on Io. Pediatrician is using children with a rare immune deficiency to create them. My daughter's one of the kids. I hope you find her. What do you intend to do if you find other things? Like scientists. That's, of course, a sample of the proto-molecule itself. We shoot the scientists and nuke the rest. Speaking for myself. <laughs> new tractor, if good belters ever stood up and defied the OPA, instead of letting them speak for all of you, perhaps you'd deserve respect. We're not the ones doing the killing now. Earth and Mars have the proton molecule. The belt has the right to it as well. That's that case, hard to argue with. You yep. should know, Kyle. I told you we want the same things. Maybe now you'll believe me. So they're gonna nuke Io. <laughs> Whoa. They that's I mean yeah. maybe. May's down there. Yeah, they have to find May first. How's the speech coming? Good. Anna knows how to reach the best in people. And this speech could well define my term in office. Well, that's a shame. He'll poison you. Watch out. Mm hmm. Excuse me? If the thought of casualty scares you now, imagine another Eros. One that we can't even stop. If you end this war. You'll be remembered as the man who united humanity in the face of first contact. Stop listening to him. Yeah, why is he even in here? Yeah, exactly. Uh, when is this gonna get sinister? I mean, it's already, it's already but like when yeah. for the people in there. I mean, yeah. you know, like they're they think they're having fun right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Right now. I like how Mao had this look of concern, like he cares even one iota about any of these people's lives. Yeah, I think he cares that it's not developing smoothly as it should. He's yeah. Like, oh, look, something happened, you know? That's yeah. That's probably what it was. So I understand we're still having electrical problems on decks 2, 3, and 11. 11, no, sir, and 2 and 2 are fixed. How long do you think the systems will be down on 11? Uh. Oh, so there's gonna do something. Mm-hmm. Running in about twenty minutes. That'll be perfect. Oh, all right. What is he gonna do? Oh, no, That's but that guy's. Yeah, he's thinking it too. He's like, "What was that about?" Mm-hmm. Is he gonna betray him? No, oh, I don't trust this guy now. Or maybe Come on, I should man, just maybe, follow orders. Maybe he's helping. Yeah, maybe he's helping. Oh, look at that. I would be very afraid if anything seemed on the fritz on my so spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of it to work exactly how it's supposed to. Electrical issues. The act is showing a rage. Repairs underway. Shouldn't take long. Where is Admiral Southern? 
Mm. He's in his quarters, sir. Which decks are experiencing electrical issues? Two, three, and eleven, sir. That base on eleven. Okay, so oh, win tried. is no dummy. Paranoid turned the tables on all of us. That means Wynn's been working with him. Now Azarala isn't dead, is she? She got off the yacht with the Martian Marine. I don't know what happened. Coach Yar. What if he's playing you? You shouldn't be giving that up so easily. I don't know. He yeah, came in. And sent a message admitting everything and with an honest look on his it. face. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. Coach Yar's a spy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> you should be wise to, like, mind games. He said you're an honorable man. This war no, I guess he knows who's having raised though. Yeah. Are you gonna do something about it? Uh oh. Yep. Time to get out of there. I've decided to take you up on your offer, Admiral. Sir, I'm relieving of command. The Agatha King is now mine. Don't make me relieve you of duty as well. Kill him. Yeah, you can't do that. I know. Of course, sir. It's a chain you of command can. thing. You'll still, yeah. it won't solve your problem. Yeah. Railguns designated one through five. Report brain for go, sir. All targets locked for simultaneous impact. Come on, he bought it, so he let him talk you into it. Fire. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's not gonna work. One is away. Two is away. Three is away. Four is away. What's happening? I, I'm just checking, sir. What the fuck is going on? Five didn't launch. We have a launch malfunction on five. Oh, uh, of course. We need to shoot, goddammit. Yes, sir. Five is away. Oh, no. That time yep. window is going to be the difference. Yep. So these are like things that they're like earth destruction weapons that are hidden in space and mm -hmm. you can find out where enough of them are at once you can neutralize it. Yep. Scratch two. Scratch three. Scratch four. Cool. Scratch five. They got off one missile, is that what happened? No, I think it Congratulations, sir. I'm not sure. Well done. Was that a yeah, missile that they launch from target five? They got one off before we hit them. Yeah. Jesus Christ. You're better at interpreting the space battle yeah. visuals than I am. I'll have it so fast. Now what? I this hope it's coming right for you guys. Yeah, it's the second time Aaron Wright's looked in shock and awe that one of the things that he did caused... Okay, what is happening? What is happening? Where is the- oh, oh boy, that is a- That's a big nuke. Where is that? Impact in South America, tip of Amazonia. Closest city to ground zero is Guayas Mayor. Total population in the blast zone, approximately two million. What happened with the rail guns? It was a power cycling malfunction. From charging up and standing down earlier, sir. Oh, so mm -hmm. no other launches. SATCOM believes we have eliminated the MCR's first strike capability. Two million. I'm sorry you had to say that. Stop. Sir. Stop what you're doing to the children. Sir. It's too late now. Dude, what is his deal? ...and controlling the protomolecule. I wanted that to be true. I was grasping at straws. We are on the verge of so much more. We're torturing children. He said May's name. We're creating killing machines. That's what happened. And we're still light years away from even beginning to comprehend that. He was like, oh, we they're people. And oh, they've got the Arbogast on mm -hmm. the screen. We have to be strong. And great men are strong. That's how they accomplish great things. It's not up for debate. The experiment is over. Shut it down. You know what shows strength? Experimenting on children. <laughs> It's a sign of strength. That's right. Yeah. When your victims are defenseless, yeah, that's a right. good sign of strength. You're not going to IO to destroy the parent molecule. You're going because Earth doesn't have a sample, and you need one to stay in the game. 
The only reason I'm still on this ship is to make sure you don't get it. You're right. We're not going to be friends. Imagine getting to sit down at a table with a politician you've despised for a yeah, long time. Right. Like, how interesting that would Just really be. tell them how you really feel. Mm-hmm. It'd probably also be harder to, like, be as fully harsh to them as you'd want mm -hmm. to be when you're not in their presence, when they're actually a person yep. in front of you, you know? <laughs> oh, Anna, what do you think? Why'd you even get involved in all this? Got a military option earlier today that would have prevented it, but there were risks, costs, which the Secretary General was unwilling to take. If only he hadn't wavered. He's blaming her. He really is just a horrible mm -hmm. man. He's going to need you now more than ever. Destroying her ego and then dragging her in further. Is she gonna fall for that though? I mean, she's just horrified yeah, by what she's... by the tragedy of yeah. it. Oh damn! Right. Whoa! Wow! Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Mars nuked the city on the Earth. Well, and I think I don't even think that those giant missile launchers were doing anything until they saw that there was missiles headed towards them. No, they were in position though, like, mm -hmm. I, from yeah, they what they explained, like, they float around all the time, mm -hmm. and always in different positions, and if, like, at any point that you could activate them and they could, like, annihilate yeah. most of the Earth, I think. Yep. Yeah, and so. th those were scatter, those were nuclear scatter bombs mm -hmm. that they were shooting, so, right. like, yeah, it makes sense why they wouldn't necessarily want those to be out there, but mm -hmm. it also, again, like, I don't think they were, like, Mars was getting ready to fire. It's like once they saw the missiles incoming. Right, well, but, they but fired automatically maybe. They're out there and they're, you know, very dangerous towards Earth and war has been declared. It's not yeah. as though there are another nation's arms that are out there and they could be used against us. It's like these are our enemies that want to fight us. We know those things exist and we can't see them. Yep. If we get a beat on them, destroy them. I totally understand that yeah. mindset, you know? I think I, you know, it's obviously, like I was saying during the episode, I don't envy the people who really no. have to make these kind of choices. And I'm not saying that we have the right idea on how any of it should all go. It's just... The, the preemptive yeah. strike thing is always a difficult, because you don't want your enemies to have, like, a leg up on you. Right. But you're also, you don't want to be the one to, like, fire the first shot because you thought they were going to fire first, but then be the one who fires first. Because exactly. that just makes you look bad. And right. it is technically... The Earth government's fault that the Earth got nuked. Right, there. yes, yeah, the no actions they to took the caused it to happen, that's right. true. But I totally can see the side of it that, like, they have a first strike opportunity to take out technology. Yeah. Like, they're not even talking about killing anybody. Like, mm -hmm. if we do this correctly, we mm -hmm. don't, nobody has to die, you know? Right. It's not yeah. a X number of them versus Y number of us kind of a calculation, which in these kind of conflicts you do have to make sometimes. Yeah. This is a, if we can do this right at the right moment, we can blow up those guns and then they can't hurt anybody, you know? Yeah, it's, if the plan had gone off without a hitch, mm -hmm. it, they would have successfully right. to, deleted that threat without any repercussions. But unfortunately, uh, Murphy's Law, well, and also just that he stood down the first time, and so there was a power cycling error because of before, you know? It's yeah. It seems like maybe there are engineers who should have known that that was a potentiality. Yeah, there probably should have been fail safes mm -hmm. built into the how it all works. It's probably not exclusively Esteban's decision that caused that failure, you know? Other people who could have done things and stuff, but... The way Aaron Wright twisted that mm -hmm, yeah. when talking to what's her name new new character. anna anna yeah and just said you know like if he hadn't wavered which is obviously like you convinced him not to do this he would have just listened to me in the mm -hmm. first place then he's just so nasty dude yeah he's like getting him. he's getting worse and worse it's uh for a little while there at the end of season two we were like fool into thinking he was coming around yeah <laughs> right. just, no he's just a really good manipulator and mm -hmm. he fooled us even for a little yep. while so yeah Great character. Mm -hmm. Really, really horrible. Hate him. Um, Mao's 
sudden woke up on the right side of the bed this morning, I guess, and has decided that all of these experiments need to stop. And mm, we should remember what we were just talking about, where Aaron Wright fooled us into thinking yeah. he was good for a second and not let Mao do that. I don't, you know, Mao must be thinking something that we're not realizing. Yeah. Or, I don't know. He seemed to have a moment. He, he had two moments, three moments of kind of a genuine concern for what was happening. Mm -hmm. One was when he started talking to May, and he said her name. I could see on his face that he was like, oh, you're you, your person. You're he, not he's just probably like, thinking about yeah. Julie and his other daughters. Yeah, so. right. Know he's exactly. Got other daughters like, you know. Yeah. And then the second time was when the the kid started convulsing and fell mm -hmm. on the ground. And you know. Also, what about the time when the image of Julie showed up on the screen while he was standing? Like there was mm, Julie Pro yeah, Molecule yeah, showed up right. when he was standing in a room and he saw it. I think there was, you know, there was a whole confluence of events at that lab that made him be like, "Are we the Are we the bad guys?" <laughs> right. But the fact that he never even considered that before yeah, seems like kind of weird. Like, right? That's oh, weird. oh. So now you realize that there's a human cost to all this, didn't you? Get that before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It? Well, uh, Dresden was talking to him like about Julie's body under the protomolecule influence, mm -hmm. and he was, you know, not yeah. moved to shut it all down at that point either. Yeah. So that's. It's like now that I've seen it with my own eyes, it's like, yeah, man, this is what everyone's been trying to explain to you mm -hmm. this entire time. Like, I don't have a whole lot of, I don't have a whole lot of, you know, like understanding for his perspective at this point. It's like, right now you're in it, dude. There's yeah. not not a whole lot you can do to make me be like, oh, maybe he does have a heart. It's like, no, no, no. I don't think he he's does. evil. Yeah. Evil. Kill him. Get rid of him. <laughs> and yeah. Avasarella is on board the Rocinante. Mm -hmm. And, you know, lots, I'm liking all the different politics and dynamics that's happening on that ship already. We got her and Jim and we got uh, Amos Bobby, and Bobby yeah. and we got Jim and Bobby and then Naomi and Alex and all the, you know, the dynamics between all these people are getting more and more interesting. Mm-hmm. I liked how offended Bobby was at the defaced Martian flag. Yeah, I, mean, I thought totally that was interesting about. because, like, she defected. She's, mm -hmm. you know, done a lot worse than deface the Martian flag, you know what I mean? Right, but there's, I still think things programmed into her, you know, that she... Yeah, that's true. Can't really just switch that off immediately. And, you know, if she had time to sit down and think about it, maybe she wouldn't even be as upset, but it's something yeah. that she sees and it bothers her instinctively. Yeah immediately offended right exactly yeah. yeah i am interested to see what bobby's role is going to be mm -hmm. in the overall story and i'm calling it again I think bobby and amos are gonna hit it off i i'm hesitating to sign off on that prediction because especially with the things that amos continuously implies about his past i'm not sure that a relationship is something that he's really it's that he will do in his life, you know? Yeah. I think that, you know, a romantic connection might not be something that he's really wired for. Yeah. Given events in his life. Interesting point. Sex yeah. work seems to have been in his past, mm -hmm. so, you know. Yeah. It just might change the way he sees all that stuff. Right. Well, okay. Then maybe you can call me double right if they end up, like, together as a couple. But you can, I would say I'm half right if they end up being like really tight buddies and save each other's asses at least like a, a bond of times. is going to yeah. connect there no yeah, matter what. One of them is going to end up dangling off of a sheer situation and the other one's going to go, I got you. Mm -hmm. Or Pull we'll get to see up, the yeah. two of them maybe shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, like kick yeah. an ass together or yeah. something. You yeah, know? yeah exactly. That could be fun. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm on board for that. Mm -hmm. But we got a few more episodes, I think, until the end of book two, right? Like, mm, okay three or four episodes left, I think, until the book two ending, so some big climax will happen then. Maybe somebody will throw a rock at the Earth. <laughs> we didn't forget. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Cut it. No, I'm not <laughs> cutting it. stays in. Always stays in. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We always enjoy watching The Expanse with all you screaming Firehawks. We love seeing all your comments and all that, so, you know, like and comment and subscribe, and thanks for coming. We have a Patreon. Holes and full-length reactions over there. Check it out. Link down there, too. And, uh, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. This is Ketchup Packets. <laughs>